hi there students welcome back to another video lesson so after we discuss uh, the illustration of the six trigonometric ratios on the previous video lesson so for the next video lesson we will be determining the trigonometric ratios of any given angle and vice versa using a scientific calculator so nandiyan po yung vice versa it's because there are some instances na given yung tri value ng trigonometric ratios and then hahanapin natin yung sukat ng angle. And then, of course, meron naman, given yung sukat ng angle, hahanapin natin yung value ng uh, particular trigonometric ratios. So, this will be done using a scientific calculator. It's because they are uh, mostly kasi dun sa, sa trigonometry. So, kapag yung mga angles, hindi sila special angles. So, Special angles na yan, i-discuss ko po yan sa uh, mga susunod na video lessons. So, kailangan kasi natin gumamit ng scientific calculator. So, rather than using an ordinary calculator. So, dahil nga, yung mga given angle ay hindi sila pwedeng isold manually. Unlike yung mga special angles nga, without using calculator, pwede nating makuha yung kanilang mga values. So, i-discuss ko sa inyo kung paano po gamitin yung scientific calculator. So, let's start. So, for our lesson objective, we will use a scientific calculator to determine the trigonometric ratios of any given angle. And then, as well as, we will use the scientific calculator to uh, determine the measure of the angle given the value of the trigonometric ratios. So, using a calculator. So, calculators are widely being used in most area of mathematics, most especially in the field of trigonometry. So, usually talaga, gamit na gamit po ang, ang, ang calculator, lalo na yung scientific calculator, kapag ang pinag-uusapan natin is trigonometry. So, because there are uh, calculations that cannot be done manually. Okay, so kahit uh, mag-solve tayo ng manually, hindi natin makukuha yung sagot. That is why we need to use a calculator, most specially scientific calculator. And then, trigonometric ratios for any given angle can be determined using a scientific calculator. So, kapag kinukuha natin yung uh, trigonometric ratios ng isang angle. So, gagamitin natin yung scientific calculator. Like, for example, if you are asked to identify what is sine 50 degrees, okay, so hindi po natin kayang i-compute yun manually. So, kaya lang po natin i-determine yung mga values ng mga special angles. So, yung mga special angles, again, i-discuss ko po yun mismo sa ating susunod na video lesson. Yun, hindi natin kailangan gumamit ng calculator. May mga technique or may concepts na ako ituturo. And then, on the other hand, the measure can also be obtained given the value of its trigonometric ratios. So, kung kaya natin kunin yung trigonometric ratios ng kahit anong angle, pwede rin po natin kunin ang sukat ng angle kung given yung uh, value ng trigonometric ratios. So, vice versa siya. So, let's start our discussion. So, una muna is finding the value of the trigonometric ratio using a given angle. So, ayan. Find the value of the following trigonometric ratios. Ayan, nakikita yung mga, mga given natin trigonometric ratio, sine, tangent, and second. And then, dito sa right side naman natin is yung scientific calculator. So, ganyan po ang itsura ng scientific calculator. So, by the way, yung application na yan is dinownload ko lang po sa Play Store. So, kapag iPhone naman, syempre, uh, App Store yun. So, it, i, ano nyo lang, i-type nyo lang dun sa search bar, scientific calculator. And then, yung, ako, yung, ang pinindot ko dun is Casio scientific calculator. So, don't worry, ipipin ko na, ilalagay ko naman sa description natin kung ano yung mismong uh, link, kung saan ko din download, kung anong pangalan yan, calculator na yan. So, scientific calculator yan. And then, 
as you can see dito sa bandang ibaba natin, yan lang po usually mga functions na nakikita natin sa ordinary calculator. And then yung mga nasa taas naman, ayan, yan po yung makikita yung mga advanced functions ng scientific calculator. Do sa, sa ordinary calculator, makikita naman dyan yung square root, yung radical, ito. Yan, makikita din yung x squared, yung exponent. Ayan. So, kapag scientific calculator, makikita natin yung sine, cosine, tangent, yan, yung log. Okay, so, ayan. Yan po yung mga functions. And then, uh, kadalasan natin ginagamit din dyan, o pinipress natin dyan yung shift. Okay, mamaya, malalaman nyo kung kailan pipindutin yung shift. Okay. And then, ano pa? Uh, make sure yung ating calculator in degree mode siya. Ayan, DEG. Kasi degrees, in degrees, naka-express yung mga uh, given natin in degree form. Kaya degree. Kasi pag nakita nyo dyan, rad, radian, so, usually pa yung ginagamit doon. So, pindutin nyo lang po yung deg. Okay, DEG. So, let's start. So, let us have sine 59 degrees. Okay, so, Sa paggamit ng calculator, halimbawa, sine 59 degrees. So, syempre, ang una nating pipindutin dyan is sine. S-I-N. Ayan. S-I-N. So, drawing natin para mas kapanipaniwala. S-I-N. Okay. And then, next, 59. So, sulat, press natin, 5. Tapos, 9. And then, ang next na pipindutin natin, after nating ma-enter yung sign 59 is the equal sign. And then, lilitaw po sa screen natin sa taas yung ating sagot. So, sign 59 degrees is equal to, approximately equal to 0.8572. Okay, or in 3 decimal places, pwede naman yan as 0.8572. 857. So, approximate value lang po yan. Wala po tayong exact value. Okay. So, sa mga special angles, meron tayong mga exact values dyan na makikita. So, next, tangent 32 degrees. Okay. So, tangent. So, pindutin natin tangent, T-A-N. So, I hope nakakasunod kayo. So, kailangan nyo talaga ang scientific calculator. So, hindi nyo kailangan magpabili. So, available yan sa mga uh, Play Store, App Store. So, maraming mga available na applications na scientific calculator. So, I advise yan ang gamitin nyo. Kasi yan ang ginagamit ko. Mas madali siyang gamitin. So, let's, let's go back. So, tangent, T-A-N. And then, next, 32. So, 3. And then, 2. And then again, press natin yung equal symbol. So, tangent 32 degrees is, is approximately equal to 0.6249 or 0.625. And then last one, second 76 degrees. So, ang second po, yan po ang reciprocal ng cosine na function. Okay, so, yung, co yung cosine na trigonometric uh, function, yung cosine. So, paano natin ipepress yung second 76? Wala naman dyan sa calc -U. Okay, so, remember that, uh, sabi ko nga, yung reciprocal ng cosine is second. So, ang gagawin lang po natin, una, press natin sa calculator yung 1. Okay. So, kasi... Cosine theta is equal to 1 over second theta. Next, press natin yung uh, division symbol. Next, yung cosine function. So, cos. And then, 76. 7, 6. And then, finally, equal symbol. Okay. After nun, so, 1 divided by cosine 76, ang approximate value ng second 76 is, so, i-press natin sa calculator, 
So 1 divided by cosine 76, that is equal to uh, 4.176. Okay. So, ayan po ang value ng second 76. So, I hope na naging malinaw sa inyo kung ano yung mga pinepress natin sa calculus. So, sa, sa mga lesson natin dito sa trigo, yan lang ang kadalasang pinipindot natin sa calculus, yung mga trigonometric functions. Okay. So, mamaya tuturuan ko kayo kung kailan gagamitin yung shift na button. Next. Finding the angle given the value of the trigonometric ratio. So, ito po ang kabaligtaran ng ating uh, una. Okay. So, dito, given po yung value ng trigonometric ratio. So, ang hahanapin natin dito is yung sukat ng angle, yung theta. Okay. So, dito po, magagamit ng shift button. So, alimbawa, if sine theta is equal to 0 0.966, find theta. So, kapag find theta, ayan, ibig sabihin, yung measure ng angle, yung sukat ng angle ang hinahanap. Okay, so ano ang pipindutin sa calculator? So, ang una munang pipindutin dyan, mga anak, is yung shift. Or kung wala yung ship, hanapin po natin sa calculus yung second F. Ibig sabihin ng second F is second function. Okay, yung mga nasa taas. Ayan, nakikita nyo sa screen yung mga naka-yellow na font color. Ayan, yung sold. Ayan, kung nakikita nyo, matrix. Ito, matrix, vector. Ayan, yun yung mga sinasabi ko. Next, after nating pindutin yung ship, pipindutin natin yung sign function. Okay. So, kapag pinrest natin ang shift, tapos yung sine function, ano ang lilitaw na sa screen? Ito po, yung naka-yellow. Yung sine raised to negative 1. Okay. Next. After natin pindutin yung shift sign, enter na natin yung ating uh, value. 0 and then point. And then 9, 6, 6, and then equals. Okay, so ang lilitaw sa screen ganito siya yung nasa baba. Sign raised to negative 1, tapos naka parenthesis 0 0.966. Ayan, ganyan dapat ang lilitaw sa inyong screen. So kapag pinindot natin yan, lilitaw po dyan yung value ng uh, measure ng angle. Okay, so dito, kapag pinindot natin yun, ang lilitaw pong sagot is 75.02 degrees. Okay, so usually, uh, pwede natin yung i-round up as 75 degrees. Okay, so kapag naman, ah, uh, Pipindutin natin o kailangan natin na naka-express talaga yung, yung ating angle in degree, minutes, second form, a minutes, seconds form. So, usually pinipindot natin dyan sa calculator, nakikita natin yung DMS. Ayan, degrees, minutes, seconds. Pero dito sa ating calculator, ang nakalagay dito is yung mismong uh, button na yan. So, ayan. Makikita dyan yung degrees. And then, apostrophe. Tsaka dalawang apostrophe. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, yung 75.02 or 75 degrees. So, sign 75 degrees. Pindutin man natin sa calculator. Ang lilitaw na sagot is 0 0.966. Next. What is theta if tangent theta is equal to 0 0.839? Okay. So, dito naman yung function natin is tangent. So, ganun ulit. Pindutin natin sa calculator yung shift or yung second F. So, iba-iba kasi yung nasa ano natin, calculator. Depende. So, shift or second function. And then, pindutin natin yung tangent. 
And then, enter natin 0 point 839 and then equals so sa, ka, sa screen ng calculator ganito dapat ang lilitaw tangent trace to negative 1 and then parenthesis 0 0.839 equals non ang value niya is 39.99 6 or i-round up na natin 40 degrees. Okay, ibig sabihin kapag pinres natin sa calculator ang tangent 40 degrees, ang lilitaw pong sagot is 40 degrees. Ayan, ay 0 0.839. So I hope you've learned something on this video lesson. So, simple lang naman ang paggamit ng ating scientific calculator. So, you don't need to ask your parents to buy you one. It's because, pwede naman natin yung i-download as long as meron naman tayong uh, internet connection. And then, kung may mahihiraman kayo, please lang. So, do it. Hindi natin kailangan bumili ng calculator, ng scientific calculator. So, for the next video lesson, we will be solving... For the missing parts of a right triangle, given the length of the following parts. Ayan, meron tayong apat na condition na yan. So, hindi ko na po yan babanggitin dahil i-discuss ko naman yan sa ating susunod na video lesson. So, that would be all. Thank you. So.